こんにちは、みなさん。Hi, everybody. It's Katsini Hime14. And I just wanted to show you my, my complete edition of Inuyasha's DVDs. And I'm going to buy each and one of them and tell you what I like about them. Um, hope you. And the funny part is, I got these movies first. And I ordered. And then I got this one. I got the first one last. So it's kind of funny. Oops, sorry. Um,. First one is Inuyasha and the affection, uh, affection touching across time. I really, hold on. I really, really like this one because it's my favorite. It's the my favorite one. A reason why I like this is because it has like Inuyasha moments, Inuyasha and Gugome moments. I mean, and I like the plot, and it's good because it added like demons from another country, um, from the continent, which is China. So I really like that. And the little moment in Yashin Kukome had. And there's no Kikyo moments in this one. Haha. <laughs> okay. The second one, um, the movie two in Yasha and the the castle beyond the looking glass. I really like this one. Number one reason why is because in Yashin Kukome finally kissed. Um, even though she was trying to break the spell from him being a field demon. But still, I love it. It's funny. Uh, especially after um at the end. Uh, when Moroku tries to kiss Sango and Chippo calls him an idiot because it's very funny and cute. Um, the third one is Inuyasha, the, uh, the movie 3, Inuyasha and the Swords of the Honorable Ruler. I kind of like this one and then I don't. Um, again, I'm, so the heads up, I'm a big Inuyasha and Gugome fan and it's kind of disappointing that in the third movie, there wasn't that many Inuyasha and Gogome great moments. But what what really made up for that was that we finally get to see like the story behind Inuyasha, um, you know, birth and his mom and his dad. And we finally get to see his dad, even though you really can't. Um, the first time it was like a clip glance, but if you pause it for a moment, um, it actually looks. You know, you actually get to see his dad, which is like. Shishomaru. <laughs> he kind of looks like Shishomaru and he actually put together. Ah, I guess that's how fathers look like. Um, the fourth movie. Um, the movie for Inuyasha and the fire on Mystic Island. Um, this one I liked. Yeah, I liked. Um, it's kind of sad though. I, I, I cried at the end of this movie because it was the last Inuyasha movie. Hopefully there should be a fifth one. But I cried. Um, especially when the um, DAI did the um, ending song per, uh, Paradise. Sad. But I really like it. Um, as you can see Kikyo's in this. But it's, and in, in another way it gives another background of Inuyasha and Kikyo's relationship. So yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick video that I wanted to do, uh, quick video of my favorite anime, Inuyasha. And if you notice, the first you have Inuyasha and Kugome, like Kugome is in front of Inuyasha, Inuyasha holding on to Kugome, then Shishomaru and Inuyasha, and then Inuyasha, Shishomaru, Kugome, and Kikyo. Oh, in this third movie, we actually saw that Shishomaru actually cares for Ren. Even though he said that I protect no one, he still cares for Ren. He saved Ren. So anyway, um, Shishomaru, you have a soft side. Um, I'm not going to say anything about the final, uh, um, final act. Gotta watch it. So I hope you enjoy this quicky, quick video. Alright, see you next time.